The first key to victory for Asakura will be to find his range early. The former champion needs to utilize his strong boxing skills and his jab to stifle Shuto's attempts to close in and force a grappling exchange. His last four wins have come by first round KO, so the quicker he can start, the more success he can expect to have. The second key to victory for the former champion is to make full use of the rule set. There is little doubt that Shuto will end up on the ground in this fight, whether he is shooting in or attempting to play off his back. Asakura needs to make full use of the rule set and search for the finish in every position, whether that's a grounded knee or a soccer kick. The third key to victory for Asakura, do not give up his back. Even though he's been able to successfully evade the ground game of plenty of skilled grapplers thus far, if he gets taken down, he cannot afford to give up his back to Shuto, who has 11 wins by rear naked choke. The first key to victory for Watanabe is to provide some striking offense. If Watanabe allows Kai to throw with no resistance, it will be too predictable when he shoots in for the takedown. The second key to victory for Watanabe will be to get to the clinch. Shuto needs to wear at Asakura's cardio and explosiveness and eat up time on the clock to take away his sharpness. The longer the fight goes on, the better it will be for Watanabe. The third and final key to victory for Watanabe will be ground control. Every second of the bout spent on the ground is a second in Watanabe's favor. Forcing Asakura to scramble and possibly take his back is Watanabe's best route to victory, considering he has 11 wins by rear naked choke. To purchase the pay-per-view, go to live-now.com and search for Ryzen. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.